Okay, this is using a transformer out of a backup power supply. There's a 120 watt lamp. Pretty well lit, not bad. Wish it was brighter. Only 39.9 volts, 1.06 amps into the OPA amplifier. It's kicking out. 1.23 amps through the coil there. Here's the wiring. Lots of grounds, lots of heavy grounds. This is across the uh, input diode. That's 990 nano. I've got this 10,000. microfarad it doesn't have to be that big it can be smaller but uh, it'll shut on and off a lot quicker this one seems to work I had it laying around it's a 75 volt I'm down to one by filler on this side and one by filler on this side these are 80 Micron, uh, 40 gauge, bi-filler, pancake coils. I'm using one input, or one thread off of each coil as the uh, input, and I've got a jumper from the unused coils connected together, or from the unused threads. There's the OPA. I've got a 400 uh, PF across this input. This here is a 200 nano. I've got across the uh, output of the antenna. This is an RG59, I think. Could be smaller. I don't know. It works. 5 turn, 9 inch, 3 uh, eighths inch copper coil. Had it laying around through it on. The thing basically runs by itself. I mean, you can tune the thing in with these bi fillers, adjust the distance, and it, it tunes itself more or less. Uh, you can use a smaller one, you'll get a different adjustment. This is showing 1.3 amps through the RG50, whatever it is. If you jack with this system, I suggest you get a clamp on, put it on your output, get one of these. These are for detecting uh, wires and walls. You'll need that. If you start getting up beyond 80, 90 kilohertz, this is running at 30 kilohertz. If you get beyond eight into the 80, 90 kilohertz region, which will work, it's not as efficient it seems, but it will work. Uh, these will not turn on. That will not work either. This is from uh, Harbor Freight. Here's the diagram on it. You need this ground. Right here. This is on the output to the coil. Instead of a ground to the coil, you use just the output wire to the coil, and then you'll put a heavy ground on its uh, the ground side. That is a it's an RL two. It's a one kV diode. I've got across the uh, input of the transformer this I got the K this is the RG 59 uh, cable ground on the for the collar but your hot will go through the output I've got a although I'm using a fast an FR 207 it's a fast recovery dial I don't know if it makes any difference or not but Grounds, grounds, lots of grounds here. Find a nice heavy ground, preferably staked into the ground. 
This transformer came out of a uh, backup power supply. This is the, the normal input. This is the normal output. This would have 12 volts. Got this big red wire coming off the center and two white ones. I'm not sure what those went to. There's the bi-filler. That's how it's wired in. I want to make sure if it doesn't work one way, switch these, switch the input and outputs around. It may make a difference. I've had that happen to switching them around, it starts working. There's the 480 PF. That's on the OPA. There's the bi fillers. That's how they're mounted. It is a 120 watt, 1 amp, 8.6 ohm, 124 yeah, bulb, uh, yeah, 120 bulb. This transformer measures pretty low, 0.1 and 1 ohms, around 150 millihenry on the uh, input side. This side is normal output, but I'm using it as the input. This is Here's the information on it. It generates about, uh, yeah, 0.2 volts. Now this system is working. As far as I know, this is the correct uh, wiring I've got on it. It looks like a mess down here. It's really not. Wait, here's your output here, and that's going right into the input of this diode, which is across your transformer. You don't have to run a transformer. You can do without this thing, wire it direct without this capacitor. I've got a very simple one. I ran uh, up, put 900 watts across the thing. It didn't light them. That all bright, but it works. You really don't need a transformer. Really don't need this big capacitor on it. I do need, I did have the diode, I do believe. Uh, but no, all of this back here, you don't need other than putting bulbs across these two. Across this line, this line. But this is one with a transformer. And it went out. You can adjust your distances. This is how I do it. It's just out of there, it just floats around, but that's how you adjust it. And can I get it to go? Can I get it to go? You use this and this when you get in the uh, range it starts that'll come on well it will you got that much time to sit here and play with this thing it's not easy to find it, but you can. It, once this thing starts oscillating, uh, yeah, you're pretty much on your own with it. But this, this is a uh, balanced power supply. That's what this takes. I've added these two caps. I exchanged them. And this is an OPA. Uh, yeah, 541, this is good until this is a 40 volt, 3 amp, 1.6 megahertz maximum. The system doesn't operate that high. It'll have overtones into other regions. 
But this is uh, what I've got. I've been jacking with. I'm trying all sorts of things to see what we can do with it. It's a little pain, I'm telling you, what you do, you set your coil, if you jack with this thing, you set your coil right in the center and just let it sit with it on and it'll reconfigure itself. Don't ask me why or how, I have no idea. And it will accustom itself to that area. Call or uh, get a hold of RWG Research on YouTube, he makes these coils. I made these a couple years ago. I thought I'd try them. And it seems to work. If you set that low, you'll get higher. Uh, it'll run with a higher frequency which is, doesn't seem to be as efficient as running it at a lower frequency and a higher capacitance. Here's the one diode sitting across and I put a heat sink on it just in case. This one here sits by itself. That's the fast recovery, the FR diode. I really don't need these heat sinks on this OPA. But I put them on there and if you jack around with this thing, they will pull an amp or two and uh, if you're not careful, it will get hot. It's, it'll shut down by itself, but uh, you don't, really don't want that to happen. 